hello it's Jay here again and welcome to another video in this lesson we're carrying on with the damage effects and I should just say after this video I am going away to have my surgery done so there will be a little bit of delay in the next video come out for that I apologize but as soon as I'm feeling fit and well enough to make videos again, I shall do. I will try not to keep you waiting too long. But with that said, let's come into the opponent health script. And we'll actually begin by just altering this block. So this is for testing and I want to test... Uh, what happens when the opponent health drops below half and a quarter. So we can quickly just add a double and here. Underscore current opponent health is greater than 50. And what we're going to do is we'll just copy all of that I'll enter here I'll add the else and we'll paste that in so let's have a look if it's less than I'll put the equal to 50 as well. Shouldn't be needed, but we'll do that just in case. We'll make the current health equal to 24, just under a quarter. So basically, this just happen. Um, this just works as a double press, and that would just make things easier to test out and now we're going to come down and we're going to start filling out the damage effects function if open and close brackets underscore current opponent health it's less than opponent health half double and Current opponent health is greater than opponent health one quarter. Let's just enter there. Actually, we'll come to the end of the line. We'll open and close brackets. And fact let's just copy that we'll get the if blocks in place first so we'll say if current opponent health is less than I'll use the equal to this time opponent health one quarter and current opponent health is greater than zero and now we'll come and we'll begin to fill out these if blocks. And so the light damage effects occur when we're between a half and a quarter. In fact, let's get this into comments if. Health is less than half and current health is greater than I'll just put a quarter. We'll use if open and close brackets underscore. We want and um, 
let's begin with the light dot enabled equals true next line underscore heavy smoke light dot enabled and we just use single equals this time and set to false if heavy smoke light is enabled then disable it so let's just copy that if statement so i'll actually paste that in twice more and of course we need to do the heavy smoke emissions And I'll just paste that in the to the line below and of course we also need the dense sparks to be disabled we want to use dense sparks emission and we'll change the comments So we're just making sure with those if statements that the heavy effects are turned off. Very important, but we want the light effects to be true. So we can just add light smoke emission dot enabled is going to be equal to true. light smoke emission to and let's just use enabled and again we want light smoke light dot enabled equals true And of course we want the light sparks emission to be enabled also. So we'll set that to equal true. So to enabled and we have one last thing we're going to start core routine and we'll open and close brackets inside the brackets quote marks and of course this is going to be the sparks timer And I'll quickly just get that into the comments and we'll come back up and we can copy all the code inside the if statement 
and we'll paste it in to the next one. So when our health drops to one quarter, this is when we want the heavy effects enabled. So basically what we're going to do is say, we're going to change all these if blocks from heavy effects to light if they're ena enabled, disable them. So there we go with Light Sparks Mission. If it's true, disabled. And the Light Smokes. Quickly update the comments. Oh, I've done them in a different order in this one. Doesn't matter. I'll ch I'll tidy it all up off camera. Um. And we'll just change that. And of course, now we want to enable the heavy effects. So that's heavy light. Heavy smoke. And the dense particles. We still want to set the sparks timer function going. Um I'll change this up actually, I'll do that now. I'll put the dense sparks at the top. Sort of do it in order of priority, so heavy smoke mission, then heavy smoke light. So that's that done. And we'll just get these in some sort of order. And we'll save that off there. And I think we'll leave it there for this lesson. My voice is getting quite dry. Um, we'll pick this up in the next video, which, like I said, will be after my operation, unfortunately. But I'll try and get back as soon as possible. So until then, bye for now.